This is the Logitech Netplay controller, and it might be one of my favorite controllers of all time. Originally designed for use with EverQuest Online Adventures, the PS2 version of EverQuest, this controller was not what you'd call widely popular. It did find a different use in my humble abode though with the arrival of Final Fantasy XI. There are a few products that I would say I could truly review end to end with like no questions as to my full understanding of its quality. But I've owned like five of these and taken each through its full lifespan. <laughs> and that's not entirely Logitech's fault. I do tend to sit them on my lap in the standard Final Fantasy attire of sweatpants and they'd kind of slide off and slam into the ground. Combine that with the sheer quantity of hours spent smashing every button these things provided to get that raw edge and chains of Promethea fight or something, you can see where I'd wear it down. But it's still one of my favorite peripherals ever because it changed how I played this game. Detachable keyboard in the center of a controller in a game where typing was your only method of communication, this was quite literally game changing. I mean, the level of comfort compared to a standard keyboard and PS2 controller cannot be understated. I would like leave the controller sitting like on my lap and then I would, I would put the keyboard on my lap and the controller would slide off and then vice versa when I went back to playing. I mean, this thing changed all of that. It would just rest. It was one huge thing. I was always holding it. And it was just so weird. I mean, it's... It's massive, but it's like funny because I liked it so much, but like the D-pad was terrible. The thumbsticks were loose and made of like a slippery plastic instead of like that rubber that most of the controller sticks were made out of. The shoulder buttons were enormous, which was nice, but kind of oddly placed when compared to a standard controller. The keyboard was awkwardly tiny with those like chiclet keys in a just slightly off overall format. But regardless, I mean, this thing will always hold a special place in my heart. It's as much a part of my Final Fantasy XI experience as my character and has been with me through countless late night battles, early morning leveling sessions. I mean, this thing has seen it all. To this day, I truly believe you can't really beat playing an MMO with something like this. I mean, being able to type and use a controller all from one device is just the ultimate. I get why people like keyboard and mouse, but as more and more MMOs are released that support controller-based play, I can't help but hope that Logitech will get off their ass someday and refresh this thing and make it a little more modern with maybe like a PS4 controller on the sides instead of PS2. I make this video to celebrate a fusion of devices that by all laws of nature shouldn't exist, yet does. Logitech took a leap on a game that ultimately failed, but with their creation, dozens of us Final Fantasy XI players got to play the game in a way I've yet to rival with any other experience. Let me know if you own this beautiful disaster and whether or not you stopped using it because you moved on or because it stopped registering motion correctly. Because seriously, I never had one of these things last more than like a year without one of the thumbsticks just totally going, going off the deep end. To hoping for a PS4 version someday, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you'll like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya.